This morning, as air travel skyrockets to pre-pandemic levels, a new push to end the federal mask mandate in planes and airports across the country. In a letter to President Biden, the CEOs of every major U.S. airline cite a steady decline of hospitalization and death rates nationwide, writing, much has changed since these measures were imposed and they no longer make sense in the current public health context. Now is the time for the administration to sunset federal transportation travel restrictions. The group also calling on President Biden to end pre-departure testing requirements for all international flights into the U.S. I think this can make travel back to the U.S. a lot more stress-free. Earlier this month, the TSA extended the mask mandate to April 18th, a requirement that has been in place on planes and in airports for nearly two years. The burden of enforcing mask rules often falling on frontline workers and flight attendants, making their jobs harder and more dangerous. The FAA reporting a dramatic uptick in bad behavior in the skies since the start of the pandemic. Videos showing fistfights on board planes and passengers being escorted off, all because they refuse to wear a mask. This year alone, there have already been 961 reports of unruly passengers, 635 of those incidents directly related to face masks. And these events need to stop, and we are working very hard uh, to do that. We will be continuing to work, uh, again, with airports, law enforcement, and the airlines uh, and our labor partners to make sure that we drive these events down. The FAA has taken a zero tolerance approach. Unruly passengers now face potential criminal charges and stiff fines of up to $37,000. We reached out to the White House for comment on the airline's request for essentially rolling back the mask mandate. We've not heard back yet. The TSA is reiterating the mask mandate will remain in place on public transportation and transportation hubs through April 18th. Uh, at the CDC's recommendation. Savannah? All right. Some international airlines, though, Tom, already have started lifting mm -hmm. those mask mandates, so it's a bit of a, uh, an experiment, I guess. How has that been received so far? So international airlines flying overseas, but not to the U.S. If you're on a flight to the U.S., you must wear a mask. Many countries, though, are not requiring masks right now. Parts of the U.K., Denmark, Norway, Barbados, Mexico, St. Lucia, the Bahamas, Jamaica. Uh, by the way, the U.S., Scotland, Italy, China are among the countries that still do require masks on planes. All right, Tom, we'll see how this develops. Thank you. I was on a flight last night uh -huh. from, from Detroit, sat next to a guy who was, who was being an idiot about his mask and didn't want to yeah. pull it off. He's eating his Doritos and the poor flight attendant uh -huh. had to enforce. It's yeah. burdensome yeah. on For the them. flight attendant. The flight I think attendant. that's what's yes. the top of the airline. Yes. They're like, it's yeah. burdensome. Like, why are we people all? take it out on them. Yeah. Yeah. Why are the flight attendants being yeah. police? Yeah. forced to enforce this yeah. Yeah. when the, the society seems to have moved on? It's, it's like when people get angry yeah. at a weather forecaster. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> the weather's bad. But the difference is I don't give out little tasty Biscoff cookies. Yeah. You could. No, I love those. Who doesn't like those? Everybody likes the Biscoff cookie. Come on. That's the best part of flying. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.